click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the rate of decay as well as we have also got to know about the expression of it as well as we have also discussed about the unit of it so based on that here basically we are going to talk about the expression for the decay constant so what is actually decay constant this is what we are going to talk about in this topic so now let's get started So friends, in this topic, here we actually we are going to talk about the decay constant and let's see that how we can derive a particular equation based on it. But before that, let us understand what is actually decay constant. So decay constant that has been represented by the lambda. So decay constant is the fraction of nuclei decaying in unit time. This is what I could explain you with the help of an example. So let's start with this one. So friends, as we have discussed in our previous topic that is the rate of decay in that case we have got to know that is as the time proceeds so friends as we have discussed in our previous topic that is the rate of decay in that case we have got to know that is a particular substance or that is a radio element it decays or it disintegrates with respect to time but the disintegration is directly proportional to the amount of the substance that is present initially that means we could say the decay constant that is what we are going to talk about so here basically dn upon dt that means disintegration per unit time so that is dn divided by dt is directly proportional to the amount of substance present at initial time that is n here dn it represents the amount of substance that has been decayed with respect to time and here the n represents the amount that was present at initial time t is equals to t so here since we are going to talk about the decay constant obviously we can see that there is a proportionality here so therefore we could write this equation as minus dn upon dt is equals to a particular constant and the constant here is the decay constant into n so therefore I could say that is the decay constant that is lambda is equals to minus dn upon dt the whole divided by n so here basically we can also say that is the decay constant is nothing but it is the ratio of the amount which has disintegrated per unit time to the amount of the substance present initially so this is what we have got to know about the decay constant but this is not the final derivation which we are supposed to talk so here basically based on this decay constant we are going to talk about that how we can express it and how we can make a particular derivation based on the decay constant so now let me talk about that also so friends as we have discussed about the decay constant and from which we have got to know that is lambda is equals to minus dn upon dt into 1 upon n this is what we could write but the thing is here basically we have to derive a particular equation related to the initial amount as well as it relates to the amount of the substance that has been disintegrated with respect to the time so here what we can do is suppose here let me talk about the exact time from which we could analyze that how much amount has been disintegrated with respect to the particular time so here what we can do is we can equate this equation in the form of or we can rearrange it in the form of suppose if we take the dt over here so therefore this is lambda into dt is equals to minus dn upon n so this is the equation that is what we have got but the thing is here we can find that is it still it is a derivative that is dn is nothing but it is derived from that is n so what we can do is we can integrate it with a limited or we could say that is with certain limitations and that is suppose if we integrate this equation so therefore we could get that is lambda is equals to integration of dt with respect to that is it is a definite integral that i am going to talk about that is when time t is equals to zero that is the initial timing and when time t is equals to that is the final time which is equals to minus integration of dn upon n 
and here basically suppose if the initial concentration is n0 and the final concentration or the final amount of the substance which has been remained after a particular time is n so based on that let us derive this thing so here basically we'll get that is the integration of dt is nothing but it will be t itself because as we know a mathematical term that is integration of dx is nothing but x similarly here we can write that is lambda is equals to integration of dt is nothing but t but with a definite integral that is when t is equals to t and when t is equals to 0 and also here basically we can derive this thing so here basically the integration of dx upon x is nothing but natural log of x so here basically we have to substitute the values over here so therefore we could say that is it is nothing but natural log of n when n has a value of at a particular time it is n and at initial it is n0 so based on that let us derive this thing so based on that let us derive the further points so therefore we could get that is lambda when t is equals to t and when t is equals to 0 that is the upper limit minus the lower limit that is t minus 0 which is equals to that is minus natural log of n minus natural log of n naught but here we can also equate this thing in a simplified manner that is this will be lambda t is equals to this will be minus natural log of n plus natural log of n naught so therefore this equation can be also be written in the form of that is natural log of n naught divided by n and this is nothing but lambda into t so therefore we could write this equation as lambda is equals to 2.303 divided by t log to the base 10 of the initial concentration of or the initial amount of the substance which is n0 divided by the amount of substance that has been left after a certain period of time that is n so this is what we have got to know about the expression for the decay constant so here we see the lambda is nothing but the decay constant this is the time interval in which this difference has been occurred that is from n0 to n but this time it can be in seconds it can be in hours it can be in days it can be in years also but this integration that is n0 or n0 divided by n this is what we have to know then only we could be able to find out what is the decay constant so this is how basically we have derived the equation for the decay constant and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ek channel thank you so much